Hello everybody, in this video we are going to look at the triangle sum conjecture and this is a conjecture that a lot of people are already familiar with and have used and what it says is that if I add up the three angles of a triangle that sum is going to be 180 degrees and there is a quick way to convince people that this is true by taking any triangle and kind of tearing off the angles and when you, t when you line the angles up, you form a straight angle with all three of those angles, right? And so it's a quick way to convince people that the sum of the angles of a triangle have to be 180 degrees. Now that's not a proof though. A proof, remember, is a logical argument um, that uses deductive reasoning, so it's not based on my observations, it's not based on me making conjectures. It's gotta be based on things that I know are true, like definitions, postulates, previously proven conjectures, and something very important that we haven't been able to do until now, and that is add in extra information by constructions. So if I asked you right now just to prove that those three angles, when you add them together, are gonna equal 180, but like where do you start? Like I don't I don't have much. All I have is a triangle, three angles measured, uh, three angle, sorry, they're not even measured, three angles marked, and three vertices. So what do I do? Um, well, I'm gonna have to add more information. And anything that I can construct with a compass and a straight edge, I can add in to help me uh, prove what I'm trying to prove. Okay? So I'm gonna think back and uh, do I have any conjectures that have angles adding up to 180 degrees. And I do. I have a supplementary angle definitions, right? And I have linear pairs. Now there's problems with both of those because supplementary angles and linear pairs require two angles and what I have are three. But I can remember one of the things I can construct is the sum of two angles. So what I can do is I can add these two angles together to create a, another angle, and then this angle and that angle are going to be supplementary linear and linear pairs. Um, so I have to somehow get three angles, the three angles of the triangle, lined up like that somewhere in this drawing. And so basically I'm trying to move these angles up here. And I'm like, oh man, how do I do that? I just can't like drag them up there. I have to think about the things I can construct. Altitudes don't help, medians don't help. I can construct perpendiculars, but that's not gonna help me. Oh, but wait, there is something I can construct that adds a whole bunch of angles into my drawing, and that's gonna be a set of parallel lines. So if I think of AB, there's a line AB, and the point C, there's gonna be a line parallel to AB that goes through point C. That's one of the things that I can construct. Now I'm not actually gonna get my compass out and actually do the construction because uh, that's gonna make the video like five times as long. So instead, I'm just going to like imagine that I constructed this line one that is parallel to AB, okay? So there's a line that has AB, and that's parallel to line one, and I'm gonna extend it out just a little bit to accentuate the parallelness of, of those lines, right? And if you remember from parallel lines, I have a, a, a series of angles here that are congruent. If I think of the sides of the triangles as transversals, right? So if I extend that side out a little bit to be like a transversal, then I know that this angle one is congruent to this angle up here because of alternate interior angles being congruent in parallel lines. So I have this angle one is basically the same as that angle up there, okay? Now, if I think of the other side of the triangle CB as being another transversal, that is cutting that parallel line, shrink, shrink. Then I know by also alternate interior angles that angle three is congruent to this angle up there, also by alternate interior 
angles. And so now, oh wait, what do I have? Oh, that red angle moved up there. Angle three, uh, equivalent moved up there. So now I have three angles that form uh, a linear angle here. So I know these three angles have to add up to 180. Um, now this is not a formal proof at, by any stretch of the imagination. This is just an outline. And the key was me being able to add extra information through a construction, in this case, a construction of a set of parallel lines, okay? That gave me all of these congruent angles and the following conjecture. The triangle sum conjecture states that the sum of the measures and the angles uh, of any triangle or in every triangle has to be 180 degrees, and that is conjecture 17. Now, as a consequence to having this conjecture, um, I have another little conjecture that's really easy to form and prove. And so if I have two triangles, C-A-R and P-E-T, and I tell you that angle C is congruent to angle P and angle R is congruent to angle T, then triangle sum is going to get me angle A congruent to angle E. And that makes sense, right? I have three angles in there. Uh, two of them are congruent. That means the third one has to be congruent. Um, it's one of the easier conjectures to kind of wrap your head around. Um, and it's called the third angle conjecture. It's C18. It says if two angles of one triangle are equal in measure to two angles of another triangle, then the third angle of each triangle must be congruent. And so the real question is, is the converse true? And remember, the converse is when I switch the premise and the conclusion. And so the converse would be if I have an angle of each triangle that's congruent, does that mean that the other two angles have to be congruent? And the answer is no. The other two angles don't have to be congruent. Now the sum of the other two angles, that has to be congruent, but it doesn't tell me anything about the actual individual angle measures other than the one that was uh, congruent. So the converse is uh, true? No, it is not true.